Okay. You know, Shannon, may yes. I speak to something? Absolutely. Um, you, you just mentioned this term about complexity trap. Mm -hmm. And like one of the things that I had made a conscious decision to kind of like walk away from a little bit were to-do lists because unfortunately what I have through the years saw in my, my mom's behavior is what now you have just quickly termed because the list never went away right? Mm -hmm. it, it just compounded on top of itself. And then it was like, an, it, she was turning it into an onion. And then, you know, there, so that complexity trap, it's like, if you, if the tool then I think like overwhelms you, right? So if you started off thinking that you're going to use something because it was going to help you organize or declutter, or, and then you recognize, I guess, maybe like what you mentioned, uh, Shannon, and then you're like, if you feel like you're in the thick of it and you don't know how to claw your way out of it, I think then also when we're talking about this topic today, it's also then recognizing, um, I, and Maureen, you were, you were saying it so eloquently, like the things that no longer serve you, right? So giving yourself grace that if you were trying something, right, and you thought you put it down on, on this, the big hairy audacious goal sheet, and you're like, oh, this is what I think I'm going to do. And then maybe if you're in the middle of it, just like when we do our work and our design or something, and that's why it's important for it to be iterative and try to get mm -hmm. that support, that even if we're in the middle of it, that we don't get stuck in the sunk cost theory of it, where it's like, oh, crap, but I've, I've got to keep going this direction because I've already said it or I committed to it or it's on a piece of paper to be able to then give yourself grace and say, this isn't working for me. I'm recognizing that I don't resonate with it or it's it's not actually helping me to feel successful or that I'm moving the needle forward. And then to be like, oh, that's OK, then that means I need to let that go. Mm -hmm. Right. That, oh, man, I'm now finding myself in this complexity trap mm -hmm. and maybe even in our designs. Right. Like and that's why uh, I've, I've taken to heart a few sessions that I've been in about having branching scenarios that turned into monsters because you just kept going. Oh, and I'm, I'm forgetting the, the SME who I sat in on our session and she was talking about, you know, the me, you make sure like come back then to a center point, right. I'll, and clip that branch and then move forward so that you just don't have these continuous fingers and prongs and, and just going right. out and out and out. And you're like, holy crap, how do I get out of this scenario? Right. Uh, so all of this just kind of it has does. This interconnectedness to it when you mention complexity trap. Yeah, for sure. And when we're talking about continuous learning, right? So how does this all apply to continuous learning? And I love what you said there, Erica, there's a time for you to say, there may be a time for you to say, well, I've one learned enough. I've learned, I, I feel like I'm good to go right now, right? Okay. And, or this is just not appealing to me. I thought baking sourdough would be the thing. You know what? It ain't. I'm moving on to croissants now, right? So it's about knowing where you are in, in all of this and, and being able to set up again, those habits that allow you to say, I'm, I'm going to do this, but this isn't working for me. I'm going to create a new habit around something else, right? Or maybe a different path. So maybe it's like visual design. I don't care about um, colors as much as I really am in love with typography. You know, so maybe there's a different path that you can take. And sometimes we, I think we do, we lump this all together and then we just throw away the baby with the bathwater and we just don't think about what are some other newer, more exciting paths that we can take that really do appeal to us.